YouTube, it's Jovi Beauty and welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So today will be the first install of the Jovi B Rundown, where we do a rundown of what happens during our Jovi B show. Because again, everybody ain't got two hours, everybody ain't got two hours. Before we begin, please like, subscribe, share. All that good, good stuff. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you feel about the rundown and if you enjoy these shorter versions, okay? All right. So we'll try to keep it to length, all right? So let's get on with the rundown. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go over this really fast because it's a rundown. We don't want to take forever. So if you didn't know, allegedly her husband, Kevin Hunter, has been cheating on her for about, to our knowledge, 10, 12 years, something like that. He has a mistress named Sharina Hudson. And as we all know, Sharina's a mistress. She's not a side chick. Side chicks are like summer bunnies and those other girls who get like a thousand dollars. Sharina gets cars, houses, fucking probably boats and planes and shit. We don't know. All this shit is alleged, side note. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. So, he's been sleeping and cheating with Sharina for a while. The Daily Mail found out about this affair about two years ago. It's been like two years now. They blasted it all over the, all over the place. Everyone knows. Wendy Williams found out he had to acknowledge to his wife that he was cheating on her. He was supposed to end that relationship. So, he put the house that Sharina was living in, child, listen, up for sale, allegedly. He Well, it's for sale now, but back then it was allegedly. He put the apartment that he had got Sharina. All of these properties are in the New York, New Jersey area. They're all running around $700,000. All this shit is alleged, but that's what they say. So they're, they're, these are very expensive properties, right? And sorry, I was just looking at the time. <laughs> Anyway, these are very expensive properties. He had her and his alleged boy toy, we'll get to that in a moment, living in, right? While he was cheating on Wendy and telling Wendy he was ending the affair because he was being messy, he was being sloppy. According to Avion, Avion, I forgot, Avion, a guy who literally just came out last, well, he didn't just come out last, whatever. Um, he announced last week on the Tasha K show that he was... For a short period of time, Kevin Hart, Kevin Hunter, why am I about to say Kevin Hart? Oops. Kevin Hunter, a.k.a. AKA Kelvin Hunter's uh, boy toy. You know, he was young, naive, he didn't know, and he was his little boy toy. So he, we'll, we'll get there. Anywho, so he was supposed to end his relationship with Sharina, right? Because Sharina was the main side, the main mistress he probably has a lot more side pieces but the sharina is the mistress she's the one to get the money she probably has a big a big hefty allowance me and the subscribers have already figured out and thought about it and she probably gets about 30k a month because kevin living high with the hog the hog aka wendy she's the hog anywho so wendy you know she fell out on stage she was having a whole bunch of difficulties for a while. We didn't really know what was going on. She blamed the Graves' disease, but we knew it was way more than the Graves' disease, okay? Then, late last year, Wendy came on the show with this arm. Was it this arm? One of them. One of the arms, she talking about she got a, she had a fracture. And the other arm was like in a sling. So I don't know what the hell happened. But there were reports, there have been reports and allegations that Kevin, her husband, have been abusing her for years. There's also reports that um, he has uh, soundproofed their bedroom in order for their son not to hear him beat her ass. Beat her up okay those are reports i don't know but they also come from his mother there's a video i have on here where we speak about you know kevin hunter's mother and the mother saying that she has witnessed with her own two eyes there are actually reports of a plethora of people saying they have witnessed this shit with their own two eyes but whatever's clever okay 
So she she was slinged up, broken up. Bitch, she didn't tell anybody what was going on. She said it was her grades that didn't. She fell. We knew that wasn't the case because during that time, this is when we found out that Sharina um, Hudson, the woman that the husband was supposed to leave alone a year ago, was pregnant. <laughs> he ain't leave that bitch alone. Apparently, Wendy found out before the rest of us because she had a, a private investigating, a private investigator tracking her husband. And, you know, her husband is not apparently not too bright because he's always caught on camera going into some house with Sharina, going to dinner with Sharina, doing the most with Sharina. And you know what? I say all the time on my show that um, they've been together 10, 12 years, something like that. He loves him some fucking Sharina Hudson. Okay, he might love Wendy, not saying that the man don't love his wife, but he loved him some Sharina too. And if he had to choose, he made his choice, honestly. The man made his choice, he made a decision, and, but whatever, we'll get to there. So, Wendy had to go on hiatus after, you know, she fractured her arm, she slurring words, she was interviewing the locks, she couldn't, she couldn't function, like she was high or something. Come to find out she was high, but we'll get to there. So she had to go on hiatus. She kept saying like she was going to be back. She was coming back. She was coming back. She was coming back. Child, it was like um, three months that she was out. Don't hold me to it. It might have been two. But it was, seemed like it was three months that she was out. So then she went on this hiatus, right? During the hiatus, it that's when the story was broke that Sharina was pregnant. Sharina was hiding out in the Carolinas. Um, from Daily Mail and other tabloids. The shit blew up. Um, that's when all the information leaked about her husband abusing her to the masses. People who are close to her already knew about this. But, you know, I'm sorry. It is literally pouring out there. Oh, my gosh. Anywho, they knew about it. So then Wendy, after a while, Wendy decided to come back to the show. We're, we're, we're fast forwarding. It's like a month ago. This shit is just never ending. Side note, if you want a deeper insight into any of the uh, comments and things that I'm talking about, I do have a whole bunch of fucking live streams. Sorry. I have a whole bunch of live streams that I previously recorded who, that speaks in depth about the day-by-day -day, incident by incident of this insanity. Anywho, so basically... Um, then we found out when Wendy came back, first she tried to act like none of that stuff was true. Then uh, her ratings kept dropping because the thing is, like, you can't be Wendy Williams up in everybody else's business, but then when it's time for your business, you want to keep your shit private, talking about, you know, it's my personal life. And, baby, everybody's pers everybody's lives is their personal lives. And when you put it on, you know, you, you have to be held accountable. You can't spill everybody else's tea and try to keep yours in a motherfucking container. You got to spill that shit, too. So nonetheless, then Wendy came back out and said that she's been living in a sober house, right? She's been living in a sober house, um, allegedly because she has an addiction to alcohol and pills. She got this addiction, she, previous years ago, like 20 something years ago, almost 30 years ago, she allegedly used to use drugs. She wrote about it in her previous book. But she said she kicked that habit all on her own. But now, you know, finding out her husband is cheating on her, you know, the damage it has done to her career. Because trust me, this is a massive amount of damage this whole incident, this whole situation has done to Wendy Williams' career. She started using drugs again. She's been, she was basically saying she's been in a sober house this whole time. Even when she was in, even when she was on hiatus, there was pictures and videos of her, like, going and trying to, like, sneak a bottle of alcohol from the store and she got kicked out of the rehab in California in um, Florida that's why she came back and she's in a rehab here in New York City doing a show all of this it was a lot y'all it was a lot it's still a lot so she told us that she was in a sober house and I'd be damned if it wasn't that night or the next day that Tasha K wrote the story that Sharina has finally given birth to her baby girl. Tasha called the hospital up, child. It was a whole drama. She called the hospital up and, you know, 
Wendy must have watched the blogs because apparently Wendy disappeared after the show that day. After the shit broke, she disappeared from the show. And in my opinion, they found her the next morning probably drunk and passed out in her dressing room. Okay? they I don't know where they found her. They didn't say where they found her, but they found her drunk. Or, or they found allegedly found her drunk and whatever. Might have been using some, um, some of them, popping them some of them pills too, but we don't know. So then they had to give her a banana bag to sober her up so she could come on the show the next day. This is crazy. The whole shit is insanity. But you can't even get mad at her because if your husband had a baby with somebody, bitch, if my husband had a baby with a woman while we were together, I would be drinking too. I would drink to that bottle's empty and break it on his head. But that's just me. You know, I, I don't advocate violence for y'all. That's just me. <laughs> Anywho, so yes. Um, cause we trying to round this down, right? Oh God, this round down is so much. Anywho, so she's been struggling, right? She's been struggling, um, because of course her husband just had a baby, a baby that she couldn't give him because Wendy's older than her husband anyway. She's like 10 years older than him and they already had issues when they were trying to conceive their, their first child, their son, who's 20 now. And she really couldn't like hold a baby. You know, so I guess it was really difficult for her to realize that Sharina didn't just have his baby. She gave him what he couldn't, what she couldn't, which was a little girl. So yada yada, na 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 na. Um, she's been in a sober house trying to get her whole life together. Come to find out, Kevin has been in uh, Manhattan in a nice condo, apparently, allegedly, I don't know. Um, with Sharina Hudson and their newborn baby child playing house while his wife is fighting for her fucking life in a sober house, getting drunk behind him, destroying her own career, trying to protect him. Child, listen, but Wendy had something for that ass. This mother... So he bought Sharina... Sharina is icy now, child. Sharina got her hair straightened. Sharina got on makeup. Sharina living her best life. Why? Because she got the baby and she tied the nigga down. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. Um, he bought Sharina a quarter million dollar car, Porsche, Ferrari, I forgot what it was, a Ferrari, I think it was, y'all told me. I never knew I wanted a gold Ferrari in my life until I saw that damn car, okay? I want that car. Um, I want that car. I need to, yeah, anyway. During this whole time that Wendy has been in rehab and doing all of this, Kevin has bought three additional cars besides the Ferrari. He, the, he has bought all of these merchant all of these cars a whole bunch of merchandise a whole bunch of clothes and shit so apparently wendy is fighting for her life and kevin is spending that money because maybe he knew what was coming so anywho come friday today's monday come friday the last thing we heard was monday morning um friday morning at like seven o'clock while they was getting ready for the show wendy williams handed her husband some papers with a nice bow tie or some shit like this he took it smiling like an idiot and she basically said you have been served and she served that mm -mm 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 with divorce papers did we round that down i think we rounded that down she served that mm -mm 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 with divorce papers and he thinks it's a joke. He thinks it's funny. She's scared because she did have to hire extra security to just in case he spazzed out because we know he from Brownsville. We know the niggas from Brownsville. Sometimes they got no sense. A little bit. A little sense. I'm playing. No, I'm not. Anyway, so that's what she had to do. I'm praying for Wendy. We are all praying for Wendy to get the hell out of this situation to live her best life she's looking for an apartment according to reports in manhattan somewhere girl go live on park avenue go get your entire life okay um and she basically trying to live her life because she don't want to the stress from this man is gonna kill her ass and when you die you know you're just gonna be dead and he's gonna spend all that money on sharina sharina just gonna move into your house she's just gonna move into your house Bitch is probably going to go through your wardrobe, see what she want to keep, and see what she want to throw out. A bitch like Sharina is dirty. But again, I ain't mad at Sharina because Sharina didn't have no vows to Wendy. That was Kevin. Kevin, the one who made the vows to her. You know, I'm saying, if you just want to be a hoe, be a good hoe. At least be a hoe like Sharina, child. Sharina getting million-dollar cars and houses and condos and child. Y'all bitches be underbidding y'all pussies. This bitch Sharina know what her shit worth, bruh. 
Anywho, so that's done for the Joby B Rundown. Oh my gosh. That is, we're done with the Joby B Rundown. I hope you liked it. I hope you appreciated it. And um, as always, I hope you live like your life like it's golden because there's no other way to live it.